today we're going to talk about how to attach the borders to your whole whole lot quilt with your four border corner blocks. So the first step um, to attaching your borders will be to piece each of your border strips. So those are your five and a half inch by width of fabric strips. And you are going to attach them all end to end so that you have one long five and a half inch strip. Once you have that one long strip, you're going to go ahead and attach the borders to both sides of your quilt. You, of course, will have your large main quilt top section with multiple blocks in each row and your sashing rows. I'm going to be showing you um, by attaching the borders just to a single quilt block, um, just for the ease of showing you on a smaller scale for recording. So the first thing you will do is piece them all, piece all your strips end to end, and then attach your borders to your left and right sides of your quilt top. So to do that, you of course will lay your border right side together with your quilt top. You will line up one end with the edge of your quilt top. You'll stitch all the way to um, the bottom of your quilt top, trim it even with your quilt top, and then press. Um, and you'll do that on both sides. When it comes time to attach to the top and bottom, you're going to take that one long section of border and you're going to attach one of your snowball corners using whichever accent fabric you're using for those four corner blocks of your borders. And you're going to make sure that you are attaching that snowball section facing the right direction. So when I line this border strip up with the top of my quilt top, I want that accent fabric to be in the bottom right hand corner. So I laid those right sides together and I went ahead and stitched those with a quarter inch seam and pressed that away from that block. Um, and my side borders are pressed towards the border. Once I have that pieced, I'm now going to flip this over right sides together with my quilt top and I'm going to nest these seams. So I'm going to have those seams lined up just perfectly. I'll go ahead and nest those. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop a pin as well, just right here at the edge to make sure that I keep those edges nice and even with each other when I'm piecing. Now, the last place that I'm going to drop a pin just on my quilt top, I'm going to place a pin just about an inch from this seam between my quilt top and my border. And that is just there as a reminder to me. I'm going to begin stitching at this end at a quarter inch seam. I'm going to stitch all the way along, lining up as I go. When I hit that pin, that's when I'm going to stop stitching. So I'm gonna take this to my machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I stitched that seam from this end of my border all the way until that spot where I had marked, which is just about an inch away from this seam. Now, the next step, I've still got my long tail of all of the rest of my border strip. The next step is that I want to trim this border strip a quarter inch past that seam. So the easiest way that I found to do that is to carefully fold my quilt top right on that seam. And I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. So I've got my quilt or my, I've got my quilt top on the left here. I've got my already pieced side section of my border. And then I've got my tail of my border coming off to the right. Then I can line up right at a quarter inch. I'm gonna make sure that we've got it nice and straight. You can line up right at a quarter inch with that seam. So I've got my quarter inch mark lined up right with that seam in between the side of my quilt top and my side border. And I'm going to just make sure that I've got my piece of border running nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and cut that right at that quarter inch mark. And then I'm going to save that long strip of border because I'm going to repeat this process for the bottom of my quilt. 
Once I've got that done, I'm going to flip my quilt back over. And I'm now going to piece my other corner section. So this is going to go right along my border here. So I'm going to open this up just a bit so that I can see the whole end of this strip. I'll make sure that I've got this facing the right direction. I'll pop a couple of pins in there. And then I'm going to stitch at a quarter inch right along this edge. Once I've got that corner block attached to my border, I'll flip that piece back over and my um, I'll have that pressed away from the corner block and my seams will now nest perfectly. So I'm going to nest my seams right here, drop one more pin here in the corner, and then I'll continue my seam right where I left off all the way to the end. Once I've done that, I'm ready to press that top border open and then repeat the process for my bottom border and I'll have a finished quilt top. Mm -hmm.